We're, We're going, going to Aldi. Aldi. Okay, this girl here, she's going to try and convert me to an Aldi shopper. Boo. <laughs> <gasps> What's that? We're going right. shopping? We're going shopping? Uh, woo. We're going to Aldi. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna convert my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's go to Aldi. Let's go do a shop. <laughs> When I do our grocery shopping, I will normally shop between Coles and Woolworths and um, I also use an independent butcher and a fruit and veggie store. Um, but my daughter wants me to try Aldi. So I have never done a proper grocery shop at Aldi before. I did go to Aldi once many, many, many years ago um, just to check it out. I think I only had, oh gosh, probably, mm, I don't know, four or five children at the time. And I found that I needed to do all my groceries at the one spot. I couldn't afford the time to go to other stores. But uh, she thinks it's time that I try it out again and see whether I like it or not. So we're going to go and do um, a little grocery shop and I'm just going to check it out and see what they've got, see what I like. It's pretty good. Serena doesn't do bags like I do. <laughs> huh? I fold them all in half. sideways. You get yours. Hey. That's pretty decent for you. Um, it's different. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. Um, yeah, but for the, for the price. Let's go home and spread it out. Oh, hello. Hi, Nose. Hey, baby. Hey, no. 
lovely hay. <laughs> hey, pretty babies. Hey, Dan. Hey, little baby. Got all the groceries in the car. We'll head home. So, on the first official real Aldi grocery haul. <laughs> I didn't go in with a list. I knew I needed milk and bread and a few fruit and veg and the rest is just little bits and pieces that I picked up as I went around just to compare some prices and to try out the products. So I found the fruit and veggie section really quite nice. So we picked up three kilos of potatoes, a whole stack of bananas, a bag of brown onions, a kilo of carrots, a bag of tomatoes and we bought two lots of the mushrooms because we're going to do baked mushrooms one night for dinner. Three bottles of lemonade and I bought four three litre bottles of milk. We'll clearly need more milk for the week. Now in Woolies and Coles, uh, Coles used to have a home brand um, or a generic brand calamari rings which they stopped making so we've been stuck with just sort of like buying the one brand and so Aldi had these we're going to give those a go one night and see what they're like two bags of frozen broccoli two bags of onion rings now we wouldn't normally buy these either but I thought these might be nice to have if we do like a steak and veg one night and we can pop the onion rings with it as a treat for the kids now another product that I've never bought before but this is a Mediterranean bake so it looked really nice so we might give that a go some dip and some party pies and sausage rolls Again, I noticed that, um, you know, same similar sort of products uh, with the chocolate mousse, just a different brand name. So these will be for kids' school lunches. So they had a nice range in their meat department. The mince looks really nice. These come in a huge two kilo pack, which is awesome for our size family. So I bought two of those kilo of bacon and again these look really nice these are lamb with rosemary and honey so I'm going to take these two packs and I will cut them down add some veggies to them and then we will cook them up and have them over rice or pasta and I'll do the same with these steaks so these were these are look how thick that is <laughs> they look really nice so I will take these as well dice them pop them with some veggies and again we'll just do them with like some mashed veggies. Now one product that I found I really did like, my daughter bought me around uh, one of these one kilo butters. These freeze really well and it's really nice butter, it spreads well um, so I thought I'll buy a few or six <laughs> and pop in the freezer. We bought three containers of orange mango concentrate. Kids can have that after school. A couple of tins of tuna and two jars of pasta sauce and some assorted chocolate bars. Now I thought these were a really good buy. These were really cheap. Um, they're just a shower gel. Um, and they smelt really nice so we're going to try those and this is five cakes of soap one small little hand sanitizer we all carry these with us nowadays I got some cleaning sponges and a toy that's going to be part of a um, birthday gift 
So the cereal section looked really good. Um, we bought some corn flakes and some special flakes, which would be like special K. Um, we don't need much cereal at the moment because I did a big stock up recently. But, um, you know, I'll be keen to try this and see if it tastes the same as the others. And if so, um, I'd, I'd happily buy this again. Nice big boxes. Their sourdough bread was sliced, which was awesome because I like to freeze this and we often pull out a slice or two for breakfast. Three loaves of sliced bread. Oh, baby. <laughs> Uh, we'll try these out. Normally we would buy um, Jats biscuits and these were the same but much much cheaper so we'll try these out and two packets of Arrowroot Biggies. Three packs of Lamington Fingers. Always good for an afternoon tea. We bought some popcorn and some snack packets for kids' lunch boxes, one kilo of sugar, and my daughter tells me that I absolutely must try these. Crispy coconut rolls. They look interesting, and apparently they're really nice, so we'll give it a go. <laughs> Children pull my hair out. <laughs> They do. It's really hard grocery shopping with babies. I used to do that all the time. <laughs> I used to take four, five, six little babies with me. I'd try and, you know, you'd have a capsule with a baby in it nope. and, and trolleys. I would push one trolley, pull another trolley. <laughs> you know, you'd have all these toddlers <laughs> every which no, way. It's too, too sad oh, enough. I don't know how I ever managed that and it's hard work. Mm. And it's much easier to go by yourself or with a bigger kid. <laughs> <laughs> much, much easier. Mm. So, did you enjoy mm. shopping? He says, I'm just eating my fingers. They taste yummy. The yummy fingers? Wow. Hey, look. Say hi. He says, My fingers are so delicious. <laughs> so, do you shop at Aldi? Pretty much all the time. Yeah, uh, we had a couple of things still from Coles, like um, baby formula and things like that, because we just like a different brand. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff we get at Aldi now, um, we find it's a lot closer to home. Yep. Because we live out of out of, out town, of town, so yep. as soon as we come into town, it's right there. And yeah, I actually find it much cheaper. I think it's cheaper not only in some of the products comparatively, but um, there's less aisles. To walk down true so you don't tend to walk down every aisle and go oh I didn't think of that <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put that in my yeah family. yeah well that's what I found is that maybe less variety of goods there mm. um, so I'm, I'm very used to having a large choice of, of products yeah. to pick from and, and sizing yeah um, simple things like if you wanted to go in and get a jar of Vegemite at Coles or Woolies they've got several different sizes whereas they had one jar yeah. one size that was it at at aldi so yeah i think that's that's probably the the difference that i found the biggest was yeah. that you know maybe not quite the variety um but i i saw most of the products that we would buy yeah. would i shop there all the time i i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i i um i'm a creature of habit i <laughs> I like what I like. <laughs> and I think to it, like, you know, you're you're quite close to Coles and Woolies. Right and Ali's here, yeah. Ali's quite much yeah. further out mm, for mm. you than um and especially at any of them. Yeah. You're not really close. Incredibly clean store though, mm. like well set out. Really I found that I found the the special buyers section in the centre <laughs> was just a little bit weird because you know, I, I, I don't Sometimes normally you see can that. get some really cool stuff oh, there. Look. We bought laminating pouches there the other week and they were I think nine dollars for a hundred. Oh that's good. Yeah yeah. 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 So you can, you can yeah. pick up some, some there weird. were some interesting things in amongst <laughs> there I must say and that's why like I bought the little little toy I went oh great that that'd be great in a birthday yeah. gift but I, I I could spend a bit of money if I came across <laughs> that but weird things in there too. Mm, weird. Like tents. <laughs> and wheelchairs. Yeah. Like, 
I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> it was different. Um, yeah, I, I would I would certainly go back hmm. and I would shop there again. Would I do my full grocery shop there? Probably not. But I mean, maybe um, for some things, like you said, you like the butter. Oh, the, um, the mince is really good yep. in the two kilos. You know, you don't have to break it apart. You can just freeze them as they are. As, the, as it is, yep. Um, yeah, I found the butter um, when you bought that tub around for mm. me. It was amazing it's good butter. <laughs> yeah and, and i like products that will freeze well mm. and then you know defrost and and be able to yeah. be used straight away so mm. we found that really good and price wise it was by far probably one of the best buys i've ever seen so yeah um yeah i would i would certainly go back and buy products that i like yep. in bulk yes probably freeze them or or store them um but yeah i, I found that really good so um in total we spent $346.66. So for a full trolley load, that's mm. that's pretty impressive. I think that was really good. Mm. I think and great, great cool. value. It was. <laughs> you know. Mum doesn't like having to pack her own bags though. <laughs> I, again, that's, that's probably another point that I would come to is that I don't like handling my groceries too many times over. So in a regular grocery store and the other ones, um, you would put your groceries into your trolley, onto the counter, somebody else packs them for you, so you put them back into your trolley, then into your car, and, and then home. home and into your pantry. So that's yeah. five times. Whereas I found this time round, we put them into the trolley, onto the counter, into the trolley, into the trolley, into the onto, the, onto the packing area, yeah. back into the into the trolley into bags yeah into your car and home so seven or eight times you're handling your groceries so that extra couple of times yeah may get to me <laughs> <laughs> i like to streamline things as best i can but um, we tend just to um because we do it so regularly that we don't use the bench inside right. to pack we just put it all back into our trolley and take it out to the car and just pack it straight into the bags into the right. into the car so yeah. you're not putting them back into the trolley after you packed them into the bag and you could have um like either yeah like the trolley, trolley bags, bags that sit on or like laundry baskets or crates in your car or yeah, your vehicle yeah, that you put them straight that. into that yeah yeah except for the volume of groceries that I have to buy. You'd never have enough crates. I know, like I'd have to probably take the bus to <laughs> spread them all out on each yeah. seat in there. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would I would definitely go back. Um, I think um, yeah, a lot lot of um, products that the prices were cheaper. Come round here, baby girl. Come in here. Come here. Come here. Come up here. That's a girl. Come here. Come up here. Oh, baby girls. Gonna sit there. Look. Look, can you see yourself? Where's Brenda? Where are you? Ooh. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, I would I would definitely go back and I would certainly buy some products there for sure. Um, there are a lot of products that at Coles and Woolies that I really like as well. So yeah. Um, I think probably just a little bit, but it was it was eye opening. It was a different experience. And um, when was the last time you went to Aldi? Um, I had probably about four or five kids at the time and I think I just went in to actually buy to like to have a look around at what they had to offer mm. but I went in to buy one special buy it was one of those I wanted a particular <laughs> gift for a child and I saw it in a catalogue and I was like that's what I want and I went in there and I had a quick look around the store mm. um, but yeah I never went back because back in those days where I was lugging all these children around with me um, I didn't have the time. I didn't want to have to go into more than one shop sure. at a time. So yeah, um, that sort of just kind Derailed of stopped me. Yeah, yeah, so I just I, I never kind of went back. But yeah, it was a good experience. Thanks for taking me. You're welcome. Let's um. Mum has to try these coconut rolls. They are so yummy. <laughs> so. <laughs> Here, are you gonna have one? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you want one? Mm. Yummy. Ready? Mm. Let's try these. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> serving size of four is not enough. <laughs> mm, coconut. Mm, tropical. Mm. So on that note, we might eat a few more of these mm. and we'll catch you next time. Mm. Thanks for watching guys. God bless. Bye. Mm -hmm. What, what else could you put with these, you reckon?
Mm, I put them on top of carrot cake as a garnish. These would be awesome in a waffle cone with ice cream and poked in the top. Mmm, mm, right? Just poked in ice cream. <laughs> with like one hand this one yeah. hand ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they're very yummy. Yum. Do you want one more one? Ooh. Mm. <laughs>